back in Zion again for a second day, this time on my own. As such, I've got a much more ambitious hike planned. I parked down at Canyon Junction, where I think I'm allowed to park. I'm hiking up the road to the Weeping Rock Trailhead. I'm trying to beat the shuttle buses there for no reason other than pride. Passing by Angel's Landing. Observation Point should be up there somewhere. That'll probably be my first stop today. Weeping Rock Trailhead should just be about a three quarters of a mile ahead or less. So that's Angel's Landing. And this other feature over here is called the Organ. That's what makes the river do the big bend around it. Okay, here we are. Now I can start the hike. After a warm up of 4.75 miles. Not sure where the trail's gonna go from here. Don't think it can go up that wall. But maybe, maybe it's gonna have to. This doesn't look like it goes through. Guess we'll find out. Well, I beat the first shuttle bus, but by less than five minutes. Hooray for me. So I guess this does not go directly by Weeping Rock. That's over to the left. So I guess we're going up here. So reading this sign, I guess this is why this mountain's called Cable Mountain. So they brought wood down here. So I think that's the weeping rock over there. The little side trail goes over there. But we're climbing up here. Still another paved trail. I'm sure it won't be once I get way up high. Got some Indian paintbrush blooming here, as well as some very dark pink flocks. Nice to see. At the junction to Hidden Canyon. Onto some sand now. Got a pretty cool canyon down here. No west rim for me this time. Maybe next time. Looks like we're going to be following that cool canyon upstream. Yikes. Now that's a slot canyon.
That's what I was just walking above. That's the canyon bottom. I'm not zoomed in at all. It's right there. Just a little bit further. Now we're crossing the canyon. I think we're supposed to be up here though. Nope, I guess we're in the creek bed. I guess that was just a bypass for if the water's flowing. Which I don't think it will be today. Okay, now we get out of the canyon. Looks like it's about to get slotted again. Yep. And wouldn't you know it, there's actually some water in here. It's stagnant though. That should be Cable Mountain up there. Can't see the cable. Oh yes, you can actually. I think I'll make that my primary destination once I finish with Observation Point. That should be cool to look at. I guess these are the steep drop-offs on this trail. Not too bad if you stay on the trail itself. Very cool. Back to easy going. It looks like it's heading through another slot over there. Which the trail is going to be following shortly. Okay, the trail is crossing the slot canyon. Morning. That's an impressive canyon. Looks like we're going up this way. Just past the junction out towards the other peaks I'm going to go to today. Stopped here by these bushes to drop off a couple of my water bottles. So I don't have to haul them all the way up to observation point and right back here again. Backpack feels much lighter now. Looks like I'm higher than Angel's Landing over there. Yep, getting my workout in. That's for sure. The 
get you that observation point over there. Not much higher than I am now. Maybe I'll hit that on the way back. Give the sun a little more chance to penetrate into the canyon. Get some better pictures that way. So I guess that's Cable Mountain, and that should be Great White Throne. Okay, here's the junction to Observation Point. But I think I'm gonna go there later. I think I already said that. Give the sun a little more chance to light up the canyon. Just sent mom an inreach message telling her that. I'm guessing that little mound over there is Blue by Peak. And that little thing right there is probably observation benchmark. It's supposed to be a quick side trip from the junction. The trail just about turned into a dirt road. Which might explain why it suddenly showed up on my open street map data. But it's about time to leave the, the road, head up this way to find the summit. Well, it looks like this is it. Certainly no views back to Zion, main canyon. Some views this way. Wasn't sure where I was going to find the high point, but I found that. It looks good enough. Here's the register. Looks pretty new. And yes, looks like I got the right spot. Yeah, you can tell what's on my mind right about now. Back on the trail. It's this nice cluster of these big yellow flowers just before I left. They're kind of like the ones with those big leaves. I think they're a little smaller than the ones we've seen in the Sierra. A little bit bigger concentration of these yellow flowers here. observation benchmark I think So the benchmark is higher than the point, but the point probably has a better view of the canyon. Okay, I guess I'll leave the trail here at this corner, go over the benchmark. There's the benchmark. As expected, not as good of views from here. Not bad. 
but I'm definitely betting observation point is better. Just right down there. Did find something else though before I actually found the benchmark. Here's a reference mark. Now from here, you're more at the edge of the cliff. So some pretty good views from right here. Guess that's the narrows up in there. Can probably get a little lower. See the shuttle buses down there. I need to be able to get a little bit closer. There we go. Very nice. Looks a little wet over there. Like there might be some water creeping down there. Okay, I'm back from the brink. Taking all the pictures I need to. Now I'm going to try to head down to the observation point right through there. And hope I don't run into any cliffs. But I might. Mm-hmm. Cliffs. Could probably get down there no problem, but then what? Doesn't look too promising. So I'll have to try a little further around that way. Ah, much better. There's the trail right over there. Okay, back on the trail. That should do it for the off-trail stuff today. Should be nice freeway from here on out. Quite the party here. Much like climbing clouds rest instead of half dome. Looking down on Angel's Landing. And the view is arguably better. We got company, but not quite as much as Angel's Landing. At the 
greatest view up to the Narrows. At least you gotta go to the benchmark for that. At the White Cliffs over here. You can see the trail cut into the wall over there. And the shadow down there is the trail he took up here. You can see the fork over to Hidden Canyon, too. There's the junction. It's like a pretty narrow canyon up there. Heading back. Yep, no wonder I ran into cliffs over there. Gotta go a little bit to this side. We're kind of right above that big white cliff you could see earlier. So that actually may be the Great White Throne. Yeah, I see the thing on top of Cable Mountain over here. Okay, picked up my water cache. Ready for phase two of the hike. Or are we on phase three by now? Whatever, here we go. Well, there certainly has been a decrease in the quality of the trail. I mean, I'm following ducks on a use trail now, it feels more like. I guess that's not a complaint. Just an observation. Definitely a lot fewer people come this way. No more nice pavement. Temperature is definitely warming up now. A little bit more stagnant water here. I should have enough for today though. Back on a better trail now. So I'm gonna be crossing this canyon right in front of me, not up there. Then winding around over here, I'm probably doing a couple of switchbacks to get up that way. And then Cable Mountain is back that way somewhere. Bit of a backtrack, but that's the way the trails go. For good reason, it looks like. Pretty steep cliffs. Okay, this is definitely phase two of the workout. At least there's some shade now. It was getting pretty warm down there, down lower. Yep, I think that's it over there. Over there's the switchbacks where I went up before. Only problem with getting there is there's a big old chasm between here and there. Which is why we're having to go way the heck the long way around.
So that's the west rim of Zion Canyon back there. Cable Mountain. And the route to get there. Ah, this is more like it. Still playing Ring Around the Rosie though. But that was expected. I think we're starting to make the turn to the south. Out in the open sun again, but at least the breeze is blowing now. Seems like an awful lot longer than four and a half miles to get back from here. Three point three miles to go to Cable Mountain. Okay, this is where the East Strim Trail breaks off. Not sure where that other junction went. But I thought the trail that went down to Cable and Deer Trap Mountains was a dead end. So I knew something had to go off of there. Didn't think there was much to look at up here until I stopped and looked around. Some kind of reddish cliffs way out there. Here's this junction. No deer trap for me today. Should be about two miles to cable. Hoping to get there between 2.15 and 2.30. Just love those little mesas that sit on top of bigger mesas. That one might be the one you can see from the parking lot in the park. Yep, still seeing those big yellow flowers. Nice little patch of the big yellow flowers. started the very gradual downhill cruise to the end. Trail's getting a little bit steeper. It looks like we'll be heading down to the plateau right there. Oh, I see that cable thingy. We're here. Oh, look at that. Perfect spot to eat lunch in the shade. Got here ahead of schedule, too. About five minutes after.
Whoa! Awfully quick shortcut to the bottom. But I'm sure it'll be awfully painful. Taking a look from over there, too. Oof. That's the observation benchmark over there, the short one. You can sure see the trail cut out of the hill over there too. Those are the ones in the distance. Guess people are still going up there. You can see how it zigzags to the top of that big white cliff and then just traverses along the top there. Out to the point. Okay, it's just about three o'clock. Time to dash back. Think I can get back in two and a half hours? We shall see. Just spotted something in the trail. It's a tail. No rattle, so that's a good sign. His head's right there. Finally got him to move. Looks like this canyon becomes pretty steep and slotted in a hurry. There's a couple little places it looks like you can step off the trail and look at it. The trail's just right there. I'm guessing this might be what they mean when they say canyoneering. 
Working your way down through that canyon would be quite an adventure, I bet. Just picked up my water bottle that I left. Amazingly, it was still in the shade. Unfortunately, it was kind of warm. But it's hydration. Almost back to the junction with the observation point trail and it's all downhill. Another look at this cool part. What's down here? Whoa! This big wall is lit up nicely now. Okay, we're down. Okay, you're a bus coming. Yay, the car is still here. What a great day. Rats, I didn't make 28 miles. I did sh turn the GPS to demo mode when I got on the bus, so the, the clock should be correct and all the stats should be correct as when I stopped.